Family and friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we left Texas like the 1st of April, made it to Daytona, stayed there for a week. Then we hit our cruise, 12 day -er, pit stop in Spain, three days in Rome. We ended up in Albania uh, the 22nd of April. Today is the 25th of May, so like a one month review. I want to talk about some things <laughs> when you come over here to try. And the reason I'm smirking, um, if you ever miss having an amusement park, you miss a roller coaster, let me tell you, you can match that here. Take a taxi ride in Toronto. Okay, I think it's a, just a Toronto thing, you know, but uh, oh my God, the most aggressive driving you've ever seen before. I'm sitting in a car, and the thing you gotta do, I challenge you, I want you to drive shotgun. Don't be in the back, because in the back you're gonna see a lot of stuff. But you might miss out on all the glory that's going to take place during this taxi ride. The most aggressive driving I've ever seen before. And all of a sudden they'll shoot for a spot. And I'm like, you're, you're not going to fit, we're not going to fit, we're not going to fit. And I mean, by a pubic hair, we make it through there. I, I thought for sure we are going to lose, lose mirrors, you know. Uh, and meanwhile, <laughs> the taxi cab drivers here got ice in their veins. I mean, just pure eyes. I mean, they'll, they'll be driving, and as they're just missing everything, they'll look over at me and go, hey, uh, Italiano, Americano. I'm like, American, American, look forward, you know, we're paying attention. With but, so you would think there would be accidents all over the place. There's not. Somehow, it works. I mean, it, it's great. We got, uh, there's one taxi cab driver, that, you know, I love them all, don't get me wrong, but this one guy, he, he remembers me. We, uh, we took a cab ride all the way to Korea with this guy and not only the most aggressive driving he'll stop to chew out somebody else you know so you get you get the thrill ride and you get the entertainment all at the same time and I can't understand a word this guy's saying but you can tell he's he's, he's chewing out some people so I, I came up with an idea so I'm gonna I'm gonna look for him if I can't find out I'll get another cab but I'll, I'm gonna give him a little bit of money to just drive around <laughs> Just drive around Toronto and take me back. And I'll take you guys on a taxi cab ride, drive here. Believe me, it's exciting. So when you come to Albania, when you come to Toronto, and you take a cab ride, I guarantee you, you're going to think about me. Because I, I told you. But please, ride shotgun, okay? The weird thing, you, no one has to tell me to put a seatbelt on. I mean, as soon as I get in, before this engine started, I'm putting the seatbelt on. I'm looking around, is there a helmet in here I can wear, you know? But uh, you, you'll get there safe and sound. Uh, it, it's just amazing, incredible aggressiveness by these drivers. You know, I wrote notes, and the reason I, I wrote notes, there's been so many times in videos where I'll do it, I go, oh, I forgot to say something. Oh, I wanted to say this, and I did it. So when you see me look down, it's just some touching points. Uh, next, my landlord. Does every landlord do this? You know, I'm sure not. But let me tell you how great this landlord of mine is. So we get here, and uh, I told you before in earlier videos, we were burning the candle at both ends for so long. I got sick, then I got April sick. And so the landlord comes by and goes, where's April? And I go, she's sleeping, she's sick. And she goes, I'm making her chicken soup. And I go, oh, you, you, I appreciate you. You know, you don't got to do this. She goes, no, I'm coming over this afternoon, chicken soup. So okay, so she comes with chicken soup. She brought tea. She goes, no, this is special tea. You tell her, put a little honey in here, you're going to get better. Couldn't believe the hospitality. Then it's, it was starting to rain like it's raining right now, as a matter of fact. It's uh, almost 6 o'clock, 25th of May. We're raining right now. And uh, so she comes over with an umbrella. I go, I got, you know, I just, I can't believe the hospitality. Am I saying every landlord's like this? Of course not. But uh, I'll tell you what, mine, yeah, you know, their hospitality is just over the top. Uh, next, when I walk down the street, um, well, quick eye contact and they'll look away until you get to know them. Then they can't wait to stop talking. Hey, how you doing? Um, right down the street is my barber, great guy. And I was trying to learn how to say there's good, which also means okay, and then there's very good. So good is mere. And uh, like we talked about earlier, to be respectful, I'm, I'm trying to, I at least want to show Albania that I respect you and I'm trying to learn your language. Even if I never get it completely, I think it's really important that you show them, hey, I'm trying to learn your language. It's your land. I want to be respectful. So, Mir 
means good or okay. Shoe mirror means very good. And I kept forgetting the shoe. And uh, so the barber's like teaching me. Now I, I got shoe mirror down, but every time I see him, he goes, shoe mirror. And I yell, shoe mirror back. And we get a big smile. And I know what you're thinking. Barber Pat, you know anybody. Yeah. He just shaves my head. I can still go hair here, but it looks like a toilet seat. You know what I'm saying? So once a week, maybe once every two weeks, you know, takes a razor to me. Uh, charge, it's roughly four bucks, 400 a leg. That's what he's charged me to, to shave my head. But uh, once people get to know you here, and, uh, incredibly friendly. There's a coffee shop that I go to down the street, and uh, they're trying to teach me their language, but they're, they're trying to advance me too fast. I, I just can't keep up. But uh, I love them. You know, the, the people are really fantastic. Uh, Jay and Sarah, a really good show. I brought them up to you before. They were in Saranda, then they went to Barat, which they loved, and now they're on their way to Montenegro, and they might stop by uh, in Toronto, and I hope I can meet them tomorrow. It depends on the weather, you know, and uh, a great couple, great channel, if, if you get a chance. Uh, go ahead and look them up, but uh, really cool Canadian couple. Uh, I also met with uh, Harold and Katie, uh, another American couple, incredibly well traveled. I mean, they're they're all over the place. Uh, they're currently here in Albania. Had a, drinks with them, really great. So you can pick up on people, visit with people, meet people. It's a, it, you know, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about Color Dam. Uh, if you saw that video where I didn't realize her, you know, because I asked and they were setting it up at Scanderbrick Square, and it said Color Dam. I asked the guy, you know, what's color day? And he goes, well, they throw color at you. I, I've talked about this before in the video. And I thought he was talking about artwork, you know. So, okay, color. Okay, it's probably modern art. We're going to see none. And they're throwing color at me. It was like a powder. And the, the person enjoyed it the most by throwing stuff at me was April. Uh, <laughs> next month is our 36th uh, wedding anniversary. I'm, I'm very proud of that. So she, but I was thinking, oh, this pent-up anger she's got. Oh, yeah, you know, and she just let go. You know, she was enjoying throwing stuff at me too much, but it was funny. Now, I'm kidding when I say too much. It was good. Uh, next, I want to talk about uh, banking. You know, you can open a bank account here. I got turned down at one bank, and, and I keep hearing over and over. I'm not going to mention the bank I got turned down. I got turned down because I'm not from this country. Okay. Uh, the lady just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which bank, because I don't want to put down any bank, but everyone is telling me, go to Union Bank. Okay? So I still got to do that. That's nothing I want to do. Everyone says, Union Bank, you're not going to have a problem. Is that true? You know, I haven't, I haven't gone there yet, so I just want to make sure I tell you that. Uh, the police, <laughs> um, like I mentioned, they don't want photographs or anything with government, military, and firefighters, ambulance, Please, no, so, yeah, I'm not going to do it. And I mentioned to you before, <laughs> where uh, I said, hey, yeah, I'm new, and, and the police officer, the greatest comeback ever. He goes, yes, you are. And my, my next thing, and, and I already kind of knew this, I assumed it, but I've never heard anyone talk about it. And what it is, is your passport is so important. Don't want to lose it? Okay, you can't do that. So what I did was, on your passport, you got your number. I wrote the number down. I took a picture of it, put it on my phone. I also printed a, copies of it for me in April. But I never want to carry my passport in my back pocket because I don't want to lose it. Now, is that allowed? I was assuming yes. But the, again, there was a couple police officers, so I approached him. And I told him, look, I don't want to break the law, but I'm not carrying my passport. And I showed him my phone, and I go, look, I took a picture of it. I don't want to lose a passport, but I want to make sure I'm not breaking the law. And uh, he just smiled and he goes, you're fine. You, you, you're good. Don't, don't worry. But uh, at least I wanted to hear you don't have to carry your passport around everywhere you go. I wanted to hear it definite. I wanted to hear it from a police officer. And I did. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. So, uh, just so you know. Uh, da, da. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about, there's no McDonald's here, at least not yet. I, I really don't, fast food isn't good for you. I think that's hurt America with obesity and so forth. But uh, what is here is uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, and Burger King. Now I have to admit, I'm gonna try them out just to see if they taste like they did back home. Um, years ago, 
when I was in the, the Air Force, in, uh, I was in Germany, and in Frankfurt, they had a McDonald's, and I went in there, and I just had to try it. And uh, the burger tastes exactly the same. The trippy thing is, looking on the menu, I can order beer at a McDonald's. And I thought that was fascinating. So I'm gonna, it seems like the Albanians that I speak to, they really love the KFC. You know, fried food's probably not as good, but uh, they really love the KFC. Uh, I have heard, heard too many of them talk about uh, Burger King, but obviously it's doing well because they got a couple of them over here. And so the funniest thing I ever see, so I see KFC, 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 you know, there's a couple of them. And then all of a sudden, close to KFC, but not, not next door, I see TFC. And underneath it, Tirana Fried Chicken. I, I thought that was brilliant. I really did. I thought that is absolutely brilliant, you know, to have a Toronto fried chicken right next to Kentucky fried chicken. Not right next to it, but close enough. And I thought somebody was brilliant, you know, just, just doing that. Uh, but uh, I want to touch base to tell you about that. Oh, and like I said, I'm going to take you on a cab ride. Okay? And I mean that. But i got to find my guy. And if I can't, I'll, I'll pick a different guy. And as long as it's not raining, because I want the traffic in. You want an amusement park ride? I'm going to show you one, okay? Uh, it's not going to be the same on camera, but you're going to get an idea of what I'm talking about. But uh, overall, uh, the first month here has been fantastic. The people have been very good to us. Uh, I'm very grateful. I, I, I always say I never give advice, but I'm going to tell you something that's, that's worked out well for me in April. We are trying to learn the language, at least the nice, the nice phrases. Thank you. Please. Uh, hello, but the word hello is difficult, so I just say see any, which is more of just a greeting. Goodbye, uh, mere passion. Uh, and, and if they see me struggling, but they see me trying, you see that smile come to their face, and they do appreciate it. You know, it, it is their country, and, uh, and you should at least make an effort. At least that's what I found. Okay, I'm not telling you, I'm just what I found. And uh, they find it, uh, they find it nice. They find it nice. And like I said, they love Americans, so things are going well. Um, been talking to Chris, Chris Forte, man. Uh, cool. I hope I can meet him for coffee. Uh, Jane and Sarah, I hope we can meet him. Arnold and Katie, it was great having drinks with you guys. Uh, there's a couple of other subscribers that are coming out here. Wonderful, man. If we can, if we can meet up, drinks, coffee, something. Um, no regrets. I don't know how else to say it, man. Just, just no regrets. Things are doing well. So I wanted to touch base with you guys on this. Remember, I love you. Uh, so far, things are going really well. Really well. Um, let's see, things that I've missed. Back in the 80s, it was the same. I didn't know, you know, how, how much change has happened. Uh, drying your clothes. You gotta hang them up. There's no clothes dryers. So when I say no, I'm sure some people have a clothes dryer, but uh, the vast majority, no. And, and it makes sense. So they're thinking, what a waste of money. Why don't you just hang up your clothes? Well, because a lot of times Americans like the speed. I want to wear this outfit today and sweat, so I'm going to enjoy it. Well, you're not going to have it. The other thing are, I see it a couple times, which shocked me, but screens on your window. When you open your window, it's just wide open. There's no screen. Okay, it was like that in the 80s. I see it a couple of screens, but for the most part, still no screens in your windows, which, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, they don't have central air, at least the places I go to, and, uh, and in Germany it wasn't the same way, but they do have air conditioning, they call it air con, but it'll be a unit hanging on the wall, okay, it's not central air, but they do have air conditioning. Um, I was hoping to, I was holding off on this video for a couple of days, hoping I would get my utility bill. I haven't got it yet, they read the meter, but uh, whenever the payment comes, I'll, I'll let you know the amount, okay, it's not going to be bad, it's not going to be bad. So things are going really well. Uh, we're, we're fitting in. Uh, what I'm starting to learn is when we eat out, this restaurant, you know, better price. You can spend a four, you can go broke in any country, okay? Um, but we're starting to figure out what to order, when to order. You know, I like this grocery store over that grocery store, and uh, and things are going well. But uh, I love you guys. Take care. I'm gonna try to get you that video in a taxi. You want a roller coaster ride, baby? Oh, yeah, we're going to hook you up. All right, uh, remember, I love you guys. Be careful out there, okay? Bye-bye.